Hi, everybody. I'm Christina Hillpiper Frischman, your favorite NYR Organic Independent Consultant. And I'm here today to tell you all about the beautiful NYRO Wild Rose Skincare Live. This is my very first time streaming simultaneously on YouTube and Facebook, so I'm hoping it's working. If you are watching, please leave a comment so I can actually try this out. I'm using a product called Restream. It's a lot of fun to use, but I just want to see, like, can I see the comments? So I can't see if you're watching. I can just see how many people are watching. So if you are watching, just say hi in the comments so I can see that it works. What I'm here to do today is just to give you a very brief overview of the NYR Organic Wild Rose Skincare line for both face and body. It is one of our newest lines besides the new uh, Women's Balance. Hi, Tammy. Oh, good, it works. Yay! <laughs> this skincare line I am in love with because it works for all skin types, all ages. It's very affordably priced, and the products really do work. Many of them are um, certified organic. If they're not certified organic, they're like 96% organic. I can tell you the level of organicness as I describe them, but they're really wonderful. And the entire line is designed to be very gentle on your skin, but also to help you achieve more glowing skin, reduce some of the um, puffiness that you may have and to really intensely moisturize and also make you feel very wonderful, calm and relaxed. So all of our products, they do have essential oils in them. They are um, really chock full of wonderful ingredients that are sustainably sourced. We are an organic and natural company. We ditch all of those nasty chemicals that we do not want going back into the earth, going into our skin, poisoning us, poisoning the earth. So if you haven't tried, made the switch to organic yet, I know you're probably thinking like, they don't always work as well as the ones that are, you know, full of all the, the chemically stuff, but these actually do. I have been using these products for a long time. I've been a consultant for the last couple of months um, and I'm 44 years old. In my skin, I get compliments all the time and I've gotten way more, oh, I'm frozen on Facebook, oh no. Let me uh, pull that up actually while this is happening. So um, what's, I've always had very good skin, but since I have been using NYR Organic, it is like I get more and more compliments than I've ever had in my whole life because my skin is glowing now and it wasn't really glowing before. It was very dry and dull. So I see that I am frozen on, okay, it looks like I'm not frozen on my end. So um, hopefully it's catching up. I know it can be tricky when I'm broadcasting to two locations. Anyway, let's start. Let's dive in. And I have samples for almost all of these. So if you're interested in trying before you buy, let me know. The very first thing that you want to think about is your entire skincare regime, regimen, not regime. Um, but you don't have to dive in and just buy the whole line right away. Pick one or two products that you're interested in. Try them out, see if you like them, or dive all in and get everything. But what you want to do when you care for your skin, no matter what products you're using, you want to do a cleanser, you want to do some kind of exfoliating mask or exfoliator or rub, you want to do a toner, you want to do some kind of serum or facial oil, and then your moisturizer. And I'm going to go walk through all of those different steps. Now, you may not do all of those steps. I never used to do a serum or a facial oil, but that has really been making the difference for me. So if you're just sticking with the Wild Rose line, which I don't do, I actually mix up all of the different lines uh, for my own skincare regimen. Um, but if you wanted to just do all of the Wild Rose, you wanna start with the One Pot Wonder. This is the Wild Rose Beauty Balm. It's $60 for this thing. And it is gonna last you forever. It's our number one best-selling product. It is the darling of the magazine editors, especially in the UK. And you can use it, I've posted a bunch about this, but you can use it on anything. I've been using it as a cuticle oil at night. I just like, boop, put a little bit on my cuticles, rub it in. It's fabulous. It's full of uh, wild rose hip seed oil, which I'm gonna talk about because it's in all of these products. But wild rose hip seed oil, let me rub this in here. It is uh, full of vitamins, antioxidants, 
uh, vitamin A, vitamin C, things that are super, super hydrating. This also has beeswax in it, which is what's making it the consistency that it is. NYR is very into saving the bees. You'll see that we have a whole line of Be Lovely products where we actually contribute money back. When I say we, I mean the company. Back into saving the bees. Um, and so beeswax, jojoba seed oil, um, what else? Oh, shea butter. So really moisturizing. You can use this as a cleanser. So you would just put a layer on your face. It comes with a muslin cloth that you would wet and then wipe it off. I like to just leave it on. Uh, I use a different cleanser uh, that's like this. And then I put this on as my overnight mask sometimes, or I'll put it on when I'm going to sit in the tub. Oops, I just got my finger in there. Um, I'll put a layer on and then I'll take a hot washcloth and lay it over my face. I did this the other night, lay there for 10 minutes, listen to my audio book, and then take it off. And my skin is so moisturized so glowing, so lovely, and it just wipes right off. Um, you can use this on burns. It's great on sunburns. You can use it. I, I got a scratch from my dog the other day right here, and it was kind of red and a little bit yucky. I just put this on a couple of times throughout the day, and you can't even see that anymore. He needs his nail trim. Uh, you can put this on your cheeks for a nice glow. You can put it for a very light moisturizer on your lips. You can use it to kind of you know, get rid of your flyaways. If you have flyaway eyebrows, patches on your skin, it is truly one pot wonder. And I have mega samples of this. So if you're interested, I mean, if I were you, I would just go ahead and buy it. But if you want to try it, let me know in the comments. I'll send you one. Then the next step is going to be after you cleanse. For me, my next step is always a toner. Now, the Wild Rose AHA toner is different than the rest of our toners that we have because it is exfoliating. So it has the alpha hydroxy acids that are very gentle. I know when we say acid, it sounds scary, but it's not. It's so, so, so gentle. And all you do is give it a shake. Don't forget that part. Um, and then put it on your cotton swab and just do a swipe of your face. It's gonna take any last remnants of your cleanser off or usually I use it after the shower so if I have you know had product my shampoo coming down I just use it because it um, it does that exfoliating so it's going to take off the the sloughing of the dead cells that are on your face which is going to brighten your face and also reduce the look of your pores so I definitely focus around here I also like that it has a very cooling feel to it and it's just the scent is very fresh so it's got a geranium scent. It has a little bit of the frankincense in there. It has the wild rose hip seed oil. So the scent is very, it's not, I mean, it is a little floral, but it doesn't linger. It is more to me, it's just more of a fresh awakening scent. Now, if you have sensitive skin, I wouldn't use this day and night. I would just use this day, test it out. If you have a little bit of redness because it is exfoliating, you might want to use some sunscreen if you're going to be out in the sun. And um, yes, I love that it reduces the look of my pores. My pores are like tiny now. This is such a great product. And this is $24. It's going to last you a really long time. I've been using this since it came out. Oh, there's a net in here. Um, and it's only to here. So I think it came out in July or end of June. So I've been using it since then every single day, twice a day. Sometimes I use my rejuvenating frankincense toner because I love the smell of that. But definitely in the morning I use this. And I, I like to look at my cotton swab and be like, ooh, look at the skin cells that came off. When you see like a brownish tinge on your cotton ball, that's not necessarily dirt that came off. It could be the dead skin cells. So, but it is fun to just be able to be like, oh, I see it. <laughs> anyway, I love this. Oh, and I didn't tell you the ingredients that are in it. You've got your caviar lime fruit extract, which that's where the AHA, the alpha hydroxy comes from. So it is natural. This is a certified organic product and it's a very natural light exfoliant. Also citric acid, it has aloe vera in it. So also moisturizing and glycerin. Sometimes if you use a toner, like a different brand, we don't talk about them, but um, you use a toner and then if you forget to put your moisturizer on, your face might feel like it's tightening up. That doesn't happen with this. This moisturizes and tones. It's amazing. 
but I still like to put on my moisturizer. So what I start with first, actually my next step is, yeah, it's usually this, it's usually a facial oil. Facial oils and serums are two different things, even though they come in these types of bottles. Um, a facial oil is really for moisturizing, giving you that first level of moisture so that you can reduce the amount of actual moisturizer that you're gonna use. It also has a beautiful scent and you can use it to kind of give yourself a little bit of a calming massage. Now with the dit, with the uh, glow facial oil, for me, it's all about achieving that glow in this area. So it's gonna make my look, face look very young and fresh. Um, now a serum really targets specific skincare issues like anti-aging. Um, so that's a whole different video that I will show you. Um, but the facial oil, we've got grape seed oil. We have sunflower seed oil. We have olive leaf extract and then shea butter, shea butter ethyl esters. So just really emollient and light oil. This is called a dry oil, which is a bit of a mis mis misnomer because it is liquidy, but when you put it on compared to our other facial oils, it just glides over your skin because it is just the lightest, freshest oil. Okay, I've already put this on today, actually twice because I did another one of these for a different group. But usually I just put it right onto my skin. Sometimes you can put it on your hands and then take in a scent, but I don't want to waste any of it. So I just put it right on my skin. I usually do a drop here and a drop here. And then I do a gentle, like, very gentle with the tips of my fingers, moisturizing. Oh, the smell is so good. This is also $24. You need one or two drops and it is going to, it just moisturizes so great. Now, some people may not even need to do a moisturizer after they do an oil, especially in the summertime. Maybe you just popped out of the swimming pool and your face does get a little bit tight when you're out in the sun you can just do the, the facial oil. Just put a little bit of that on. Make sure you have your sunscreen on too. Um, but that will moisturize. Me, I am a little bit more of a, uh, I, I used to have dry skin. I don't really have dry skin anymore, but it's because I do this next step. Um, yes, the toner and the facial oil combined, Tammy, wonderful. But first, before I get to my heavy hitter, the, the cream, I'm gonna show you my favorite product. This is my secret it's not a secret. Everybody knows about this. Um, this is the eye brightener, and this is $24. I'm sorry, the facial oil is $36. I can't remember if I said that. The eye brightener is $24. It is a small tube, but I'm going to show you. You barely need any. You need like the size of a piece of rice. I also put it right on my skin. And the thing about, see, that's how much you need. The thing about an eye brightener or an eye cream is you want to use especially formulated product for your eyes because I already put one on the side of my other group um, because it's light it's lighter this area of your skin is super delicate and if you put a heavy or heavier cream in this area it's going to start pulling the skin down and that is how you're going to get these lines here and how the skin is going to start to get like wrinkly looking so you just want to make sure you're always using your gentlest fingers. I use my middle fingers. Middle or ring. Ring is really the best. Dab, 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 dab. Don't do any pulling around here. Your eyes are going to pull up the cream to where it needs to go. This eye brightener is full of great minerals that are light reflecting. Look at my face, how it's glowing. I keep it here at my desk. Put this on before I zoom. It reflects the light. It reduces dark circles. I have a lot of redness happening right now because of allergies, but it's helping with that. It also is really, really, really moisturizing with um, that aloe vera. And it's got a fun little secret ingredient, green tea caffeine, which is going to revitalize that skin. Think of what it does when you drink green tea. You're like, ooh, I feel good. It's doing that to your skin, like boom. Ooh, yes, give me another cup of coffee. Okay like a little cup of coffee for your eyes <laughs> a little cup of tea green tea anyway green tea leaf beautiful you're gonna love it okay then here's my moisturizer 
This is the Wild Rose Glow Day Cream. I don't use it at night because it says day cream. No, I love my frankincense at night, my frankincense intense. But this is great for a day because it's light, super, super light. This is $40 for the tub. And look at it, you get a ton. You are not going to need a lot of this. The biggest mistake people have is they just like start caking it on and then they're like, my face feels tacky. That's because you use way too much. I'll show you how much I use. That much. I start with that. If I need more, I'll put on more. But I just like put it on lightly like this. Oh my gosh, I've put this on so much today in my, oh, it smells good. It's got that geranium, the rose hip seeds. Mmm, a little bit of frankincense in there. It's so calming and so bright. But it's a really great light moisturizer to get you through the day. If you have really dry skin or you're getting some deep lines, you will want to look at the frankincense intense or frankincense intense lift. This is like my frankincense intense lift area right here. But in the summertime for a day cream, I love this. It's also, it's great for all ages. So if you're in your twenties or even your teens and you don't need a lot of that extra oomph for your skin yet, cause you have that beautiful young person skin, this is great for you. But it's also, like I said, I'm 44. I love it. It feels great. It doesn't really feel like a giant layer of heavy moisturizer on my skin. And it's got turmeric root extract. So I don't know if you guys pay attention to these kinds of things, but turmeric is really full of antioxidants. It's great to add to your food, to your teas, to give you that extra antioxidant activity, clinically proven to improve your skin's radiance. Look how glowy I am. That is my face routine. Now, usually it doesn't take me 16 minutes to put it all on because I'm not talking about it. It takes me a couple of minutes. It's not a huge deal to be doing all of these on your skin. If you're adding the mask, then yes, you're adding on another 10 minutes. But generally, boop, toner, little drop of oil, eye cream, moisturizer. So if you're somebody who is like, I don't just spend a lot of time on my face, you it's less than five minutes. It's like two minutes. And then I'm just going to show you two super quick body things that I love. This I keep in the shower. It's the Wild Rose Body Polish, certified organic. It has crushed organic wild rose hip seeds. So, you know, we love our rose hips. I'm going to just show you that what it looks like. I don't want to waste it because it's my favorite. But I use this two or three times a week on my arms and legs and heels. If I get close enough here and it zooms in, you can see the chunks. Those are the seed chunks. That's the exfoliator. And all you do is just when you're in the shower, you just rub it in and it has those little crunchy pieces that feel so great. I should have some water in here. Um, and you can use it as a hand treatment. We do have some very specific, the Melissa hand polish is a good hand treatment. But I do this on my legs in the shower. Like I said, my heel, my arms, two or three times a week. And it has made a huge difference in my legs because I always have had dry legs where they look a little bit scaly. But now that I'm doing this two or three times a week, they're not dry anymore. I use the Wild Rose Body Polish in the shower. I will use the Women's Balance Shower Oil as my cleanser or one of the other cleansers, um, shower gels. And then when I'm out of the shower, oh, I forgot to bring it. There is a um, Wild Rose Body Cream. It comes in a little, actually the one that I have is this size. I use that on my legs, but my new favorite for the summer is the Dry Body Oil. This is a spray. Again, let me, I bet you can guess what's in it. Wild Rose Hip Seed Oil. This, you just spray it on and see how it, it's wet, even though we call it dry. You put it on when your skin is dry. And then you just rub it in and it just glistens. It smells so nice and fresh and it's really moisturizing. It's 24 hour moisture and awesome for the summertime. Now in the winter, I may, we'll see how it goes. I may switch to um, back to my, either the one of the balms or the body lotions, the body creams. I have so many options that I usually play around with it, but this is, a wonderful gift. So if you're looking for something for any of the upcoming holidays, this is something that people probably won't buy themselves. Um, 
and it's unique. So maybe they'll get a bunch of lotions, but they're not going to get any spray, spray body oils. And it is certified organic. They don't have to worry about it, like poisoning them. And I'm trying to look at what it's got coconut. It's got sunflower seed oil. It's got your frankincense, the Boswellia Sacra. It's just, it's a really fun gift. And anyone, anyone can use this. So anyway, that is, oh, we also have the Wild Rose Hand Cream. I also keep this little sample one at my desk because it is just a nice little hand cream that smells wonderful and moisturizes. That's your Wild Rose line. I hope that you found it interesting. Maybe you saw one or two things you want to try, so let me know in the comments or hit me up, send me a message. I did skip a couple of things because I don't have the Wild Rose Serum because I really stick to my frankincense, but I need to try the Wild Rose Serum. There's also a um, soap, bar of soap, that will be great for stockings and things at Christmas time or any of the holidays, but it's sold out right now. Um, that's a nice little thing, and... I think there's one more thing that I'm forgetting. Anyway, check it out online. I'll put the link in the comments. And if you have any questions, please let me know. I hope you learned something. Thanks for watching. Thanks for my little test run here. And we'll see you guys later. Go Irish. <laughs> yes, Tammy, the soap is awesome. So I hear because I haven't gotten to try it yet because it's sold out. And oh, one last thing. You know, I always I should call this one last thing. Look at these containers that these come in. Look at the product packaging. Isn't that lovely? What an awesome gift to get somebody the day cream and the eye brightener. Look how pretty that is. You wouldn't even have to wrap it. You could just put like a little bow on top and that's their gift. I love it. So if you're in my Facebook page or group, check us out later today because I'm going to have a few little games in there where you can win some fun things. And one of them is going to be this little duo of a hand cream and this little fun purse or pocket size of the Wild Rose Beauty Balm. I have these littered literally all over my house. Like everywhere you go, you find one because you might be in there and be like, oh, I need a little, little sunshine on my cheeks. Okay. See you guys later. Bye.